Acoustic Guitar Showcase and uh, didn't even have the music school yet. And I hear that there's this guy playing this long two by four looking instrument with 10 strings on it and it's amazing. And this guy's amazing and the instrument's amazing. Jim Bruno was my guitar teacher. And uh, one day he said, uh, there's this guy that invented this instrument and he's gonna be doing a clinic. So we saw the clinic and we saw the instrument and I was just like amazed by it. I, I remember asking him if I could play it right then and there cause, uh, and, and being a little arrogant because I was a pretty good guitar player, known as a very good guitar player by then. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll fix this thing up and I'll, and I picked it up and I put it on and I went, oh. <laughs> I still love what it sounds like, but I can barely do anything on it. Anyway, I bought it. Every time I came to see him for my lesson, I, I go, you know, I wanted to play it. And one time he even let me take it home for a week and I played it and practiced on it and gave it back, saved up money and bought one myself. I bought number 153 was my first stick. And that stick was the 53rd stick ever made. I didn't know that then, but Emmett started at 100. So, uh, of saying that he sold it because he didn't want anybody to think they bought the first instrument, I guess. So anyway, I ended up buying the 53rd one. I went from that to my next stick was 377. Finally, my final, final one back here, which is a thousand something. I don't even know what number it is. The, the tune that we first played together uh, was named after uh, Jim Bruno's second stick. And the number of that stick was 377. And it just flowed. It, it had a a real nice glide to it and uh, it was rhythmically and melodically really interesting and we we opened every concert with that tune 377 my last stick here is midi compatible so that's why i got the third stick or i would have kept 377 but i sold that to get the more expensive midi version i always felt that the stick was you know a guitar and a bass what, what, what's the big deal What's unique about the instrument is because A, the playing technique is different, and B, that one hand is playing one part and one hand is playing another. When you start to come up with parts, you're combining notes in a way that's unlike any other instrument. So I think the best part about the instrument is the fact that it creates music never heard before in that, exactly in that way just because the ergonomics and the hands are doing something differently. Half of it's tuned in fifths and half of it's tuned in fourths. If you do an exact parallel fingering across the, the strings of the guitar side and the bass side at the same time and you were to chart that out as sheet music, you'd see that it's built in counter punnel, it's built in counterpoint. The notes will go start together and go away from each other. That creates amazing things that you can create in chordal concepts and put things together and write songs that if you wrote on any other musical instrument, you'd think, this guy's a musical genius. How did he ever think of that? The tuning of the instrument creates the concept, and that was another thing that was so amazing about the stick. The thing for me that I've always really enjoyed about it is the fact that it's polyphonic. I can play two parts at once, but it's not like having a bass player play a part and then you play solo, you're playing a bass, you're playing a lead, and then all of a sudden you might feel an emotional part in the bass and the bass can start to do something a little different. You keep that going. And then the hands can just start playing off of each other in combinations that no two people can do because they're two separate minds, two separate emotions, two separate people. But one person doing two instruments creates a different music. And so to me, that's the greatest part about the instrument. It's just, it's different. Has a, it expresses a different kind of emotion because it's one mind with two parts. Just like Scott Joplin, when he started to do the piano and he started to get his, his thing going that hadn't been sort of done before. And then if you go before people like that or certain keyboard players or guitar players, the instrument just lends itself to new sounds. The stick is like a piano in the hands of anybody. So, you know, you, you can have a classical piano player or a jazz piano player or a funk boogie-woogie piano player. You can do the same thing on the stick. Whatever it is that's coming out of your mind and whatever you're about, you can be about.